Guess who's back? Back again. Here we are. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to another video, guys. Another deep dive value mystery box. What would it be worth if you sell it today? We're doing boom loot. We're doing a $350 box where we had an over $500 return. But will it hold up with fair market value? Find out next. That's right, guys. Hopefully you enjoy this video series that we bring you. Um, it's a fun one, right? It, it's, it puts a different viewpoint on one, Hobby DB, two, what are things truly worth, <clears throat> and just opens your eyes. That's all this video series I've wanted to do is just open your eyes, you know, make you more realized of some things that are out there and how things truly do work in the marketplace. And, um, it's nobody's fault. It's no knock on anybody. It's just the reality of it. That's all that it is. You know, hopefully you, you, you know, you find the videos enjoyable, educational, and eye opening as some of them have been. Um, we have done Pop King Paul. If you didn't see it, check that uh, video out there. Uh, also, please like, subscribe, ding the bell. It goes a long way. Helps support the channel, the algorithm. Check out merchandise, a Teespring, all of our discount codes down below. <coughs> and of course, check out the Smile World video we did right there. You know, and that shows you where we are. This is our third one we've done like this. This was from a Boom Loot Legendary Volume 62 Mystery Box, um, where it was a $350 box. Guaranteed 360 plus. Top box was 800. This one did exceptionally well. Um, this box came in at 502 dollars. You know, so we did rather well on this video, on this, on this mystery box. Um, you know, we ended up with a, a Jim Henson uh, SDCC with Ernie at 47 dollars. We ended up with a Freddy Funko Fun Days 500 piece as Vision, not the Glow version at $155, and the glow-in-the-dark 1,000-piece with glitter Gus Haunted Mansion Pop uh, valued at $300. So we did very well, but how is it going to hold up? And I also preface this, this is not a mystery box issue or a mystery box company issue. They only can go off of PPG. That is what they do. That is the value they take. What I'm doing is going by more market value last sold on a platform like eBay. That is what we are doing to show you an average, and, and you'll see it in the video. Um, so again, let's open our eyes, let's see what we got, and uh, let's start the deep dive video into this mystery box. Here we go. All right, and here we are. Let's look up Jim Henson first. Jim Henson Funko Pop. Um, we'll type in the number. And away we go. Now we want to filter this and look at just sold. Because some of these, I think, did not have the SDC sticker on them. And others did, as you can see right there. So we're going to have to go through here and look and see if we can find one that exactly matches with the sticker. And there's the first one at $14.99, sold January 1. Let's see if we can get another one. And... There is another one sold December 15th at $25. So number one, not a highly sought after pop, as you can see. And some without that sticker selling for very, very low. But let's just take our average of the two that sold and let's just go 20 bucks. You know, so right off the bat, $20. PBG is 47, but you're not seeing that at all for that Funko Pop. So Let's just take the average. We'll go 20 bucks on that one. Now let's move over and check out Freddy Funko as Vision 500 piece. Remember, this is not the glow, uh, but this is the quote unquote uh, event exclusive with that sticker. And there are some Freddy glows of this pop. Um, that is more of the sought after one. Now let's see. There we have one. It sold February 1st at $120. There's some glows which are more sought after. So let's see what else can we find another one. Uh, there's one at 270, but that was sold in July. We're not going to count that one. Here's another one, 140, sold January 18. 
There's 145 sold January 16, 185 sold January 14. So I, I think we're just going to do a nice little average and let's just go the one in the middle and let's just say 145 on the vision, which isn't bad. I mean, that's 10 bucks under under value. You know, you saw one or two of them sell above. But uh, we'll go with 145 on the vision, and that's really holding good value and good sales um, with that one. So we're just going to go 145 on that one. And take into account, I'm not looking at damage or anything like that um, because they're not really showing that. Now let's look at the Gus Pop. Uh, this is the exclusive, the 1000 piece SDCC Glow Gus. There is other versions of this. Um, as you can see, there are others. So let's look at last sold, see what we can do here with the Gus. And there we see February 6, 250 bucks. That was a set below that one. There we see another one, January 30th at 175, November at 190. Um, there's a January 8th at 199 So I, I think a good average for this one, I think we go with um, 220 I think that's a fair one. There's 240 190 175 I think we just go 220 on this one and say, let's go on that one. So let's go 220 and uh, there's our average. So... Uh, you know, there you go. But let's let's deep dive into Gus a little bit and see, you know, you're seeing these sales, but what's Hobby DB seeing? You know, what what is Hobby DB uh, going through? What are they seeing? Let's 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 go in and uh, dive in here to Hobby DB. We'll type in Gus 164. Now, on this one, guys, what you want to do is make sure you're looking at database items, not market market is what they're selling on hobby db because you can't sell things on hobby db but we want to look at database items and then unfortunately here you do have to go back in and put gus 164 if you change uh, your searching criteria here so i'm going to go up here and type gus 164 and then let's see what we got there he is the gus two variants one error uh, we don't now have the error. So let, let's see, what are they seeing? So there's the 300 bucks again, but in one year, they're only seeing two sales of an average of 342, low 284, mid, high of 400. So they're looking at the medium of 342, but I'm not seeing those sales. Um, now again, keep in mind guys, HobbyDB can only go off the data that they are given or that they get. Uh, if a company doesn't share it, they can't have the access to it, so. That's why I tell you, be careful with HobbyDB. All right, now let's look. The Mr. Bucks came in at $502. That is what our PPG value of the Mystery Box uh, did come in, in at, you know, which is nice. So let's see. Um, we got $20. We got the $145 for the Vision. And we got the $220. So fair market value of this Mystery Box comes in at about $385. So if you take what we did get, Minus the 385, you know, technically we lost 117 from PPG to fair market value, but uh, in reality, but in reality, we didn't quite lose um, because at 385, we still did 25 better than guaranteed value and 35 better than what we paid. Um, so, in essence, Boomlood has done the best in these videos. Um, we didn't lose that much, obviously losing 117 off of PPG value, but for what we spent, we still did well. Um, I mean, you look at it, I, I mean, this pretty well holding value, I, I figured you're not going to get 300 for this. You're only going to get, you know, and, and 220, 240, that's not bad actually for this. You know, these take the right buyer. You know what I mean? It, it's These take the right person to buy them. And Jim Henson, not quite surprised that, you know, PPG is one and uh, reality is probably half, if not below half of that. Kind of expected, honestly, when you think about it. Um, hopefully you like this, this series, guys. I enjoy doing these. They're a lot of fun. Keep in mind one key thing when you're talking mystery boxes. Companies can only go off PPG. That's what they go off of. 
is PPG the gospel? I'm telling you right now, it's no, and I've shown you that it's not. Because they ask companies for their sales records. If the company doesn't sh share their records, it's the numbers aren't quite accurate. And if a team member, because everyone that's working with HobbyDB do it for free, and they're doing research and putting in numbers, if those are a little off, if uh, they're not catching quite the damage, or they catch maybe a fake or something like that, that can skew the numbers. There's a lot of skewing. But what I love to say is look at what your fair market value is, because an item is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. And that is what I show you in this video. These are sales. These are true sales very close to the time of the boxing and the unboxing. So it, it's a little bit more accurate if you look at it that way. And I'm only taking eBay. I'm not looking at Macari. I'm not looking at whatnot or other platforms like that. So hopefully you enjoy this series. Hopefully you find it educational, interesting, and joyful. I enjoy making them. And uh, stay tuned for Friday when we're going to open up our last $350 boom loop box. Maybe we get that glow Obi-Wan Kenobi. Maybe. Till then, guys, I'm the Luau. Thanks for joining me. Peace, peace, love. We out. Mm -hmm.